Hey everyone, welcome back to another Teardown. Today we'll be taking a look inside the recently released JBL Party Box Club 120. We have over 130 screws to remove, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove the light and play button. Next, we'll remove the silicone cover by peeling it off. This silicone cover contains the button for the power, Bluetooth, AutoCast, and bass boost, along with cutout for the play and light knobs. And here we have the two knobs. Featuring a twist and push function, this makes controlling the lights and music easy and convenient. Next, we'll flip up the handle on the top of the speaker and take off this small cover on the end. This cover has the Club 120 imprinted on it, which I thought was pretty cool. With the cover removed, we can see two hidden screws that need to be removed. Now we will turn the speaker to the back. There are two hidden screws behind the handlebar. The screw is still with two rubber plugs that will need to be removed to access the screws. You will need at least a 6 inch Phillips screwdriver in order to reach the hidden screws. Moving back to the front, there is one screw located at each knob's location that will need to be removed. After doing so, we can gently pry it open the top panel. With the top panel lifted up, we can carefully remove the ribbon cable that connects the top panel control to the motherboard. Now that we have the top panel off, we will remove the three control board by removing a total of seven screws. Now on the opposite side, we will need to unscrew the two rings that is used to hold the two knobs onto the top plastic panel. After that, the boards will come off as a single piece. And here we have the top panel. Nicely crafted out of hard plastic, its main feature is the built-in handlebar, which makes it easy to carry the speaker around. And here we have the silicone buttons for the different sound effects. Now we have the three boards we just removed. The two knobs can be easily detached from the main control board. And here with the two boards. These allow the user to control and make adjustment to the volume and lights. Now we have the main control board. This board contains the seven buttons, which consists of power, Bluetooth, AutoCast, bass boost, and three buttons for the sound effects. It is also used to interconnect the boards for the volume and light control. Next, we will remove the screws for the motherboard enclosure and the back and side panels. Here we have the motherboard enclosure. Filled with holes, this enclosure allows airflow to pass through and heat to dissipate from the motherboard. To remove the motherboard, we will need to take off 10 screws.
After doing so, we can remove all the connection that goes onto the motherboard. After that, we would gently lift up the board and disconnect the three connections underneath as well. And here we have the motherboard. It features integrated circuits that regulate power to various components, including the amplifier, the Bluetooth 5.3 module, the USB charging ports, and a microcontroller that manages essential functions like the Bluetooth connectivity, audio processing, LD, lightings, and user interface control. With the motherboard removed, we will continue by removing the heat sink by taking off four screws. This heat sink functions as both a sturdy platform for securely mounting the motherboard and as an efficient means of dissipating the heat generated by the board. It ensures that the motherboard remains cool and it operates reliably by effectively spreading and releasing the heat produced during operation. With that done, I also noticed that there's four screws that we will need to remove for the front and the back panel. So we'll go ahead and get those out of the way. Now we will turn the speaker upside down to start removing the bottom panel. First, we will pry off these rubber feet and remove the four screws from within. Next, we will remove the tripod cover and remove three rubber plugs to access three screws. With those screws removed, we can gently pry it off the bottom panel. And here we have the bottom panel, which showcases an open groove design that provides a comfortable grip for lifting and handling of the speaker. This design not only enhances usability, but also ensures a secure hold when lifting the speaker. Now we will remove the power supply by removing 9 screws. And here with the power supply, which provides the speaker with up to 160 watts of RMS power. The power supply is a critical component to converting AC to DC to provide power to all the internal components and provide overcurrent and voltage protection for the party box 120. Now we remove six screws that is holding down the side and the back panel onto the bottom of the speaker. Now let's go ahead and remove the battery. This battery is a 7.2 volt, 4722mAh battery pack that can be fully charged in just 3.5 hours and provides up to 12 hours of playtime on a single charge. I particularly appreciate the removable design of the battery as it allows you to easily swap an additional battery when the current one runs out, extending your playtime without interruption. Next, we will go into the rear input panel and pry off these two volume knobs. Next, we will remove the stagger cover on the left side of the input panel to remove one screw. With the screw removed, the whole input panel can be pried off. We will remove three screws to remove the rear input board.
and here with the guitar and microphone input board. They allow you to connect your microphone or your favorite guitar to get the party going. And here's the rear input board. It contains many input such as for USB storage, USB charging, aux in, gain control, daisy chaining, and microphone, volume slider, and knobs. Next, we remove one screw located where the rear input board was. This will allow the back panel to be removed. And here with the plastic back panel. It is well designed with reopening for the rear input, the battery, and the open port. Getting on top here is a little LED board which can be removed by taking off one screw. This board features a single LED light designed to illuminate the rear input panel area, making it easier to see and access the input and control even in low light conditions. Now we will remove all the screws on the back of the speaker. We have 8 screws for 2 of the side panels, 4 screws for the rear input panel, and 4 screws for the battery compartment. And here with the battery compartment. It is spring loaded and allows you to easily swap out the battery for extended battery life. Toward the back, we have the circuit board for the battery connection. Now we can pull off the two side panels. This panel are made of plastic, each designed with a JBL logo on either side. Now to remove the front panel, we will need to remove 3 screws from each side of the speaker. After doing so, the front panel can be pulled off. Next, we will remove the front panel light by taking off 12 screws. After the screws are removed, we will gently pull off the circuit board while disconnecting the top and the bottom flash board ribbons. And here we have the front LED light board. Containing over 60 LEDs, this board produces a range of bright colors and patterns to line up your parties. Next, we will remove the top and bottom flash board by taking off 7 screws each. And here with the flash board. The top contains 13 LEDs while the bottom contains 10. They help give you that strobe effect lights for your party or gathering. Now to remove the tweeters, we will remove two screws. And here with the tweeters. 
They measure 57 mm and are designed to handle roughly around 30 watts of power each. They deliver sharp, clear, and crisp high frequency sound to ensure that the highs in your music are well articulated to give you a better audio experience. Now to remove the woofer, we will take off six screws from the driver. This driver measures 133mm, which is about 5.2 inch. They are designed to handle around maybe 50 watts each and deliver deep resonant bass without introducing any noticeable distortion even at higher volume. Last but not least, we have here the empty wooden box enclosure. Nicely crafted and ported, this enclosure enhances the speaker ability to produce high quality sound by providing a well designed acoustic chamber. And that completes the teardown of the JBL Party Box Club 120. If you enjoyed this teardown, please like, comment, and subscribe. I have many more JBL speaker teardown in the works that I'll be uploading soon. Until next time, take care guys.